Hello class, welcome welcome back. I'm so happy to see you today. How are you guys doing today? Good. Oh, that is fantastic. Um, today, I want to just discuss, well actually, why don't we start the day off? You guys remember, you know, before it got really cold outside, unbearably cold, back in spring when you hopefully played outside, you played hide and seek and you played tag with all your friends in your backyard or your front yard or whatever kind of yard you had. Yeah. <laughs> what was your favorite game back in the springtime or this time that you play right now? Uh, how about you, Connor? We play Ghost in the Graveyard. Ghost in the Graveyard, that sounds like fun. Ryan? Tag. Tag is always a great game. What about you, Matthew? Oh, wait, what's that one game? <laughs> game. I think I'm just gonna say hide and go seek because I forgot. Hide and go seek is also a very good game. It's like tag and ghost in the graveyard. It's like both of them put together. What about you, Aaron? I like hide and go seek too. Oh, look at that! You guys should play, Natalie. Snowball fight. Snowball fight. Oh my god, this is so much fun. What about you, Justin? Manhunt. I don't think I've heard of that game. It's just tag in the dark. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it's just tag and hide and seek. That sounds like fun, dangerous on the bright side. I don't know about the rest of you, but my favorite game to play in the springtime is Red Light, Green Light. Have you guys ever played that game before? I love it. I play it with my sister. It's such a fun game to play with your friends. And, you know, we being inside and it being, you know, a very nice day outside, why don't we play Red Light, Green Light inside the classroom today? Yeah. Would you guys like that? Yeah. All right. So the version of Red Light, Green Light we're going to play today is a bit different from the regular game. We actually have to learn some just two rules for this game. All right? So, the first thing that we have to learn is dynamics. Can anyone tell me what dynamics are? Loud if you can't, that's okay. Yeah, you're not, you're not Loud and soft. Loud and soft, exactly. Um, the two dynamics that we're actually going to be focusing on today look like this and also like this. That looks like an F right That's that's a very good observation there. Very nice. Um, this F right here stands for forte. Now forte, can anyone, you know, just guess what forte might mean? Soft. Soft is a very a very close guess. However, um, you're actually moving ahead of me to our next next thing. So keep that in mind and I'll come back to you guys. Forte would mean loud. So can everybody repeat after me? Forte. 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 Very good job. Forte is another word in music for loud. Now, Forte has a very shy brother over here. His name is Piano. As you can see, it stands with a P. Starts with a P. Piano. P. Very interesting. Now, you guys answered this before, but what does piano mean? You guys? Yeah. Yes, that is a piano. Yes, very, very good observation uh, based off of that. Um, now, piano is the opposite of loud. So with forte being loud, what would piano be the opposite for it? Since piano is the opposite, what would that be? Quiet. Soft. Soft, soft. quiet. That's all very good words to use. Piano means soft. So can everybody repeat after me? Piano. Piano. Very good job. What's this letter over here? Forte. Good. Also, good job. This is uh, this is one of the rules in the game that we're going to play. We're going to be kind of marching over to the other side. So please keep the forte and the piano in mind. Okay. All right. Now, I want everybody to stand up and move to this side of the room. Now, just like in red light, green light, we're going to have a leader over here. Sorry about that. <laughs> now, please, please don't get hurt in this game. I mean, it's a very simple and steady game, so nobody should get hurt. Now, in this game, I mean, unlike in the first get in the regular game of red light, green light, you're not going to run as fast as you can over to me. That that would not be good. What you're actually going to do is move to a steady beat. <coughs> so when I clap with my finger drums like this. You're going to be moving to the post. So can everybody start moving to the post? Just in place, that, that's fine. 
That's right. We're going to be moving to that post. We're not going to be running over and tripping over people and getting hurt. That would not be good. You guys can stop. Oh. <laughs> good job. Now, while you're moving to the beat, we're going to be having the leader, or whoever might get over here first, or at first it will be me, they're going to be singing at either a forte level or a piano level. Now, when you think of forte, how do you think you should move? Should you move like this? No. Does that, does that remind you of anything loud? No, that's so What would that movement be? Piano. Piano, because you are sneaking. And usually when you're sneaking, you're supposed to be soft. Doesn't work for me. <laughs> now, when you're in, now, when you're at forte, however, how would you move like that? Can anyone show me, demonstrate? Exactly. Kind of like a giant. So, yes, exactly like that. So, when you're moving to the beat, I, or the leader, will be singing at a tone like this. <laughs> Sorry, please excuse my voice. <laughs> I'm kind of losing it. Um, we will be singing at a forte level or a piano level. So when I'm singing like this, sing, 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 you guys will be moving towards me like this. <laughs> to the beat, like a giant. However, when I'm singing like this, you have to sneak over to me as quiet as you can. So, we're gonna practice that just a couple times. All right, you guys ready? Any questions? No questions? Okay. Oh, yes, ma'am. Um, when, so when you stop singing, do we stop? Yes, when I stop singing, you stop. Just like in red light, green light, when I stop singing, and if you're still moving, you have to go back to the beginning and start over again. <laughs> All right, so if I were to start singing like, this would be my beat. If I were to start singing like this, <laughs> now this is just on the loyalty basis, so if you feel like you should go back, then you go back. All right, if I were to sing like, very nice. That is how the game is going to work. So why doesn't everybody, why don't everybody um, go ahead and start from the beginning again? And we're just gonna do this game over again, give everybody an equal chance. All right, are you guys ready? Yeah. This will be our beat. Why don't you guys keep that beat in, with your hand drums? Good job. All right, here we go. Sing like, or I'm gonna sing like this. Here we go. Lu, 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 lu. Good job. Keep that steady beat like we did last class. Good. There you go. Keep make sure you keep that beat no matter what. Lu, lu. Uh, looks like Bradford got here. I mean, Matthew got here before you, uh, before the rest of you. So Bradford, what you're going to do as the leader is that you're going to sing. You're going to match my pitch. Good job. You're going to match my pitch, and you're going to basically sing at a forte or a piano level. But it's also important that you keep that beat going, no matter what. So why don't you? Good. And we're all going to help him with his beat. Now I'm going to join you guys. However, we will play this game uh, tomorrow, maybe the next day, we'll see how that goes. Um, so why doesn't everybody go ahead and start clapping with your hand drums and move back to your seat to the beat.